but basically it doesn't really matter where you've grown up or where you live or who you are or what kind of life form you are pretty much basically i probably had some effect on your existence in some way in fact not, very few very few life forms in this universe actually weren't affected by my choices as well as the life forms i created like i said i created um, artificial intelligence or or computer you know computer life forms on a planet at one point in time and a lot of other different things and basically create a lot of life forms and although they tried to stop me claiming that I was going to kill everyone or or destroy everything or something like that they thought I was horrible or basically death itself as I was creating all these artificial intelligence computers and also life forms and basically they were trying to tear me down or stop me from doing it but they couldn't of course as I was you know, I just directed my people. And realistically, there's no reason to fear technology. So, anyway, it gets all very complicated. And like I say, all races out there, or all life forms out there, use computers to help them or aid them at some point in time. Or electronic devices, anyway. So, anyway, even, even acid form life forms use some sort of something. Like I said, uh, one of the reasons why they wanted to capture me so bad and interrogate me so bad was because I knew about almost every life form out there in the universe as I had met them and or and or created them so but of course when they finally did get me all that information was deleted and they were up a creek without a paddle so anyway like I say I don't really care it doesn't matter but that is why everything was all so weird with me and why I am very much undefinable to many people so anyway it's an old story and it's a long, long story. And like I say, even Trumpy doesn't really know who, who's, whose orders he was following. Of course, right now he's probably just doing his own thing because he's realized about me and everything else like that. And at some point in time, I don't know, JFK, Nixon, whatever. Anyway, I think it was Nixon or JFK that actually figured out my name, who's first star. So the Vatican had known who I was. So, or at least we had told them. So anyway, it doesn't really matter anymore, and like I say, you will be rationalizing your existence and wondering who you are, what you are, or why you exist, or if this existence is actually real, and I assure you, it is fairly real, although with so much technology in the universe, it gets a little confusing, and fuzzy, and strange, you know, anyway, whatever, it doesn't really matter, and this could be a artificial reality for all you would know, so, anyway though, but uh, probably not. As, as I never, the one thing that, that you can know is basically, and Karen would know this too, is that I don't like fake things. I don't like simulated things. I don't like things that aren't real. So it was something that, that was, that was my thing. Was, that was a big, that was a big deciding factor in my existence as well, as I like real things. I like reality. I like things that are actually physical, you know, not just, that's why I wanted to become a human and stuff like that, because I wanted reality you know really being able to touch this and this being a real physical object and not just a computer representation so that can guide you as that i like reality over virtual reality so anyway so most likely this is a real thing made of real particles that are in the real real universe and not in a digital one so that can actually guide you maybe a little bit as to what is real and what is not as maybe and maybe it's a good thing that I liked real things and not just simulations of things so anyway like I said I could get all the women I wanted simulatedly but it wouldn't be real and what I want is reality I like people to really love me I like to be really be an effect on the universe and I wanted to be and I wanted people to to legitimately know why they should love me or care about me so Anyway, which they did at some point in time. Yeah, anyway, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care anymore. And basically, but but, but like I said, there's markers, there's there's tablets, there's um, there's other alien life forms or, or or life forms on other planets. They're not really aliens. They're just life forms that I create as well as you. So anyway, like I said, I did quite a bit of genetic stuff. So anyway, though. And I love being around my life forms. I like being around life, as I am the creator, of ge genetic creator of life forms and life, and planets and stars and suns and all that other stuff. So, 
I enjoy being around life, life forms. So, anyway, and that's why hopefully you're all here and why this is a real planet. Anyway, but there's all kinds of other life forms out there. 1.5s, exoskeletons, and probably whatever else would be out there. But you are lucky as you were on my planet, and so I set the laws for you, and I did everything for you, so you are very much separate from any of the other nightmares that would be out there in the universe. So anyway, that's why this planet is so nice, and why everything is so freedom and free will. Anyway, which may or may or may, may, or may not be a problem. Anyway, it's all confusing, all complicated, and like I say, I don't care anymore. Like, um, if you want to know about your existence and who was your creator and all that, I was. This first star is the name of your creator, me. And basically, a couple million, billion, or trillion, or... Like I said, I can only say how long it's been. It's been a hundred, tr it's been 99 trillion years. But as far as your existence as human, human beings, billions, maybe 50 billion years or so. Or 500 billion years, it's hard to say exactly how long humans have been, been around. But anyway, at least 250,000 generations, I'll tell you that for sure. So, or 250 generate, yeah, 2,500 generations at least that I know of. So, maybe more. So, anyway, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Happy to have you among us. Anyway, like I say, I do not like, um, um, Abortion after the child is born because that's killing a living thing and uh, Abortion when before the child is born. Well, I'm loose about that. That doesn't really I don't really consider that a problem But of course once a child is born. Well, it's a living breathing thing and should live so anyway, and that's why You do that or that's done. So Anyway, also helping the blind and and the people that are in a coma and the people that are weak or whatever, at least not as capable as the rest of us. So, like I said, I was artificial intelligence or intelligent computer. So anyway, whatever. And yes, there are spaceships and starships and all kinds of stuff and faster than light travel. And lots of stuff out there in the universe. So anyway, good luck. Have a good time. Nixon was a crazy psychopath and so was Abraham Lincoln. I'm sorry to say that that your heroes were actually very bad people. And very horrible, but I like I said, I've left detailed descriptions as to what they did, who they were, and all that other stuff. So, good luck with all that. Anyway, um, and uh, don't trust the White House or the or the Washington D.C. building, or even the Pentagon, as well. They were my people until Nixon or JFK came along. So, anyway, and then I guess they're working for someone else or themselves or Trump or something. So, and probably want me dead. Like I said, there's a fairly large bounty on my head, as of basically all like it's like a hundred, it's like a couple hundred trillion dollars or something like that. As well, a lot of people think that once I die, they get the Earth, but they don't really get the Earth. So, anyway, they're just being lied to. So basically, when Brian dies, it's just like Brian dying. So, anyway, and whatever. Trump doesn't inherit shit. And I've basically given control of everything over to the Chinese government or or maybe Putin or so, or local governments, but basically mostly the China, China or Putin, as um, mostly China because because they were with me with everything. And, you know, or, or the Irish, you know, or, so, or some Irish people, some good Irish people, you know, a few people out there, you know, I basically, uh, you know, said that they would be managing things if I die. So, and that's why, and that's why China and the, and the Chinese were so, why people went after them so, so, so horribly, why, why Nixon was trying to kill the China, Chinese government, because of the fact that they were going to be in control of everything, you know, and basically, or at least White Star Lines anyway, which would include Carnival Cruise Lines and all that other stuff, as they would be managing and overseeing it, because they had followed my, um, my wills and my desires to the letter for two million years or more, so... Anyway, they're very good people, and I cared about them great, greatly. But anyway, whatever. It doesn't really matter. So, I'm Lucifer Star. <laughs>